Hello everyone, thanks for joining. Uh, real quick, I thought I would do a demonstration in the impact of the uh, field coil polarity, the humbucking coil polarity, and the voice coil polarity. And uh, I thought it was an interesting uh, discussion and uh, doing a little experimentation here using that field coil that I just uh, rewound. So uh, real quick, I've got my uh, compass in front of me, and I think most of you guys probably already know this, but again, opposite poles attract each other. So you can see I'm moving a magnet right now with the red tape representing the north pole of the magnet, and you can see it's attracting the south pole of the magnet. If I flip this around, you'll see that the south pole attracts the uh, northern pole. So why is that important? Let's move over real quick and take a look at the uh, fill coil and see if the polarity of the fill coil has any impact at all on the voice coil polarity. Okay guys, let me show you the setup here real quick. I've got the fill coil here. I've got the voice coil here. It's um, again right on top of the uh, center pole piece that I talked about. The uh, field coil itself, I have around uh, 79 volts DC supplying that field coil. And uh, my current consumption right now with a couple resistors is uh, just above uh, 30 milliamps. I'm going to stay underneath the current capacity of the wire so I don't uh, create an open or uh, burn up the uh, field coil. Um, you can see the electromagnetic uh, field. It is working. And uh, one thing I wanted to demonstrate, there's been a lot of discussions I've read online about the polarity of the fuel coil. It has no impact to the radio. And uh, I'm not saying this proves or disproves it does have impact, but um, I think after you look at this demonstration, you'll find that it does. So again, we already looked at the magnetic field and what impact the magnetic field has in using the compass, we can do so. So keep an eye on the compass as I move this in from left to right. You'll see the southernmost part of the compass itself is attracted to the uh, center pole piece here. And again, this would represent the north side of the field and this would be the south side of the field. And just to prove that, if I bring the uh, compass over and back around to this side, you'll see the north is attracted to the south. So again, we have north here, south on this side. So why is that important? Well, we want the voice coil itself when we get the polarity hooked up in the, um, in the speaker uh, to move outward again back toward the cone or toward the uh, facial side of the basket itself. So uh, let me just uh, test that theory right now. Again, we know the magnetic field is north on this side, south on this side. And uh, let's see if the voice coil attracts itself now toward the uh, field coil or away. Okay, you can see it jumped away, and that's the way the polarity should be. So, let's just say the fuel coil itself, I'm doing some wiring in the radio, and I decide to uh, reverse the uh, fuel coil, the B- minus and B+. Plus. Does that have any impact on the polarity of the voice coil? Let's see. Let me just flip the leads here and I'll just switch the plus and the minus and then we'll check the magnetic field as well and see if the polarity changes on the field coil and then look at the uh, response that we get here from the voice coil. Okay, I'm going to bring the uh, compass in again from left to right. And you can see here again the north is attracted to the south so now this becomes the south pole. 
And as I move this around, you can see the right hand side now becomes the uh, north pole. It's attracted to the south. So let's do the same test here with the uh, voice coil and see which way it jumps now. Okay, you can see it jumping back toward the fill coil. So I think the demonstration here um, just kind of proves the point that the polarity of the fill coil can impact the polarity or how the uh, voice coil itself reacts. I've read uh, many threads where it has no impact, but uh, I think this kind of proves that it does. Okay, again, uh, just to point out something real quick, to make this my north pole and this the south pole, the way the B-plus feeds this particular fuel coil is the most inside winding closest to the core is the negative lead for the B-minus and the B-plus is my outside turn. Again, with those connection points that way, we have a north pole here and a south pole here. Okay, let's take a look at the humbucking coil and the polarity of it. I'm going to bring the compass in again. And you can see again, this side of the uh, field coil itself now is energized as north. It's attracting to the south side of the uh, uh, compass. And again, you can see the south pole here. All right, let's check now the humbucking coil and see what happens when I uh, energize it. Okay, you can see it pushed away. Just like the speaker itself. So why is that important? It's my understanding that the humbucking coil needs to be in phase with the voice coil itself. What I'll do is make sure that uh, I'm in phase uh, with the voice coil and when I uh, get the radio hooked up we'll check and just see if there is a noticeable difference in the uh, amount of hum. Now you can see I had already done some experimentation early on and found that the uh, positive side, or what I believe to be the positive side of the humbucking coil was here, in the most negative point here. And that was done so by the way it was wired in the radio itself, keeping in mind the polarity of the voice coil matching the polarity of the humbucking coil. So I actually mark that and then just um, hooking this up proves that theory out, assuming the field coil itself was energized in the uh, correct manner. So again, folks, uh, thanks for joining. I hope you uh, found this um, entertaining at least. I thought it was kind of a fun exercise and uh, one just to document here for the records. Again, once I put all this back together, we'll prove this out and uh, just make sure I get the polarity of the voice coil correct. I'll focus in on the field coil to make sure that uh, the north pole comes back uh, this direction, which I think is mainly opposite from your modern day speakers. But looking at all the documentation I found from the electromagnetic uh, speakers from the past, they always describe the center pole piece, or this side being the, uh, the northern pole, and the rear uh, or the sides being the uh, south pole.